Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcasts. Warning, this is a cold water video. You have been advised. I have a very philosophical question for the empire here, and I really want you to think about this one. And you know what? It effectively, it applies to all crypto and investing in general. At what point are you selling all of your AMP? What is the price? If it was a dollar today, right now, would you sell your position? Would you shake hands, walk away? It sure was fun. Find another project, something else to get your blood pumping. These are all important questions. So let's turn it around on itself just a bit. If you were not going to sell at a dollar, and I know most people say that uh, they won't, but let's be honest, damn near everybody has a price. I do. So let's entertain that you are a passive income sort of staker and the price is irrelevant to you. You aren't selling. Going to leave it to the kids. If that is the case, why does the price matter to you currently? Why does it matter to you ever? This is uh, fear of missing out by proxy. <laughs> That's what it is. Lots of tokens are going up right now. Competition is hitting it directly. Knees start shaking. And there is literal jealousy pouring out right now because ACH went way up, but AMP held. There is, uh, there's one very critical underlying factor that a lot of the empire seems to be forgetting about right now. And it's simple. The majority of the market has no damn idea what they are putting their money into. None at all. We are getting into that today and how it applies to AMP. Please stand by. It's, uh, it's tough to do a uh, fundamental investing opinion channel for crypto on YouTube. Uh, there is a hell of a good reason that nobody is doing it. Charts, technical analysis, to the moon hype, piles of these. And there's a reason for that as well. You can be critically wrong and it doesn't matter because everything changes tomorrow. I spent an entire weekend watching the ACH uh, live chart channel when I was doing some writing. It's, uh, it's enlightening. If, uh, if you're a fundamental pragmatist type of trader, like me, do yourself a favor and spend some time down there. If you ever wondered why some cryptos move that have no business moving, while ones that should don't, all of your answers are right there. This is where crypto lives. Not fundamental crypto. Not fundamental crypto. That lives on the, the podcasts. But hopium crypto. You, you will be joined by three to 500 crypto experts who will tell you exactly what is about to happen, then are surprised when it doesn't. And not some of the time, most of the time. But here's the good part and why so many people lose so much money in crypto. If they are right just once, they are the resident expert now. Allow me to illustrate. In five minutes, AMP is going to go up or down, or it might hold. You know what? Trust me. I'm an expert, and I'm right like most of the time. This is the crypto market and the bulk of the crypto investors. The empire is getting restless, and you know what? It, it, it happened fast. Instead of being thrilled that a solid floor has been established at six cents-ish, and it has held through both the ups and downs, people are asking why it won't move when everything else is moving. And I cannot illustrate better that what we said months ago is being proven. AMP moves on usage. This information should thrill the AMP investor. And the fact that it is playing out exactly as it should, should thrill you. It shows that the fundamentals of this token are solid, rock solid, that it does not move with the market 
and that's a good thing. Why, oh why, would you want your use case token to move with a speculative market? That eliminates the intrinsic value, makes it speculative. That's not good for it, and it's not the way it was designed. You want it solid. It's solid. You want it reliable. It's reliable. This is a long-term token, and I get that long-term is relative, but you also want risk mitigation, or at least you really should. The long-term growth of this one effectively removes the risk when it is in a holding pattern. But what makes it grow? What makes it go up? Usage. Lots of partnerships and more coming, but effectively zero implementation yet. It's months off. This is a crypto investment, not a turn and burn, and it never has been. I'm not telling you to not take advantage of a situation when it presents itself. I sure as hell do. But stay with your fundamentals. If you were not going to sell at a dollar, why does it matter if it is six cents and stays there for months? If you want action, there is lots to be had right now. Volatile markets are exciting and opportunity appears to be everywhere. But the whales know it too. And if you are not first on the upticking crypto, you're late and you will lose. You end up taking 100% of the risk for 15% of the reward. That is just bad risk mitigation long term. It might not bite you right now, but it will. And if you are one of the rare ones that are right every single damn time, you know what? You're not watching this video. I'm not talking to you. I know I have beaten this horse to death, but I will again because apparently everyone forgot. AMP is a long-term token, very long-term. Stop being shocked when it moves or doesn't move. Nothing is happening with it right now. Everything is still in negotiations or not implemented. What would you expect to see on a use case token that is not being used? Do you know what FUD is? Fear, uncertainty, doubt. Do you know what that is? You're helping it. I get that everyone wants it to move up or down. Just do something. Poke it with a stick. But its stability right now is such a proof of concept for me. I don't think I can illustrate it. That's it. That's all I got on this one. Folks, be calm. Live streams during the week and occasional Saturdays always at 7 Central. Cheers.